it is a tote with great organization. They've all got these pockets and little magnetic other pocket, black pockets. I don't rehearse these videos. Don't know if that was obvious. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Lugnut TV with Jesse G. Where have I been? If you're watching this video in the future, this is not going to mean much to you. However, I haven't done a video in a while. I've been getting a lot of comments and messages from all of you. All of those messages have been so nice. Hope you're doing well. I don't know where you are, but I miss you. I don't know in what other universe somebody could just disappear online for three months and then have their friends and their followers say, hey, hope you're okay, instead of, how dare you? That's pretty much unheard of on the internet and I appreciate it. I have been doing great, just a little busy, but just so we are aware, I did not spend any of that time whatsoever being idle. I was productive. the entire time. And this video is going to be all about the brand new jumper. Not to be confused with the jumper backpack. They both jump. There's a lot of jumpers and puddle jumpers in the lug line. But this one is an east-west style. There is also another east-west style, the Puddle Jumper Duffel. But this one is huge. This is gonna be a great option for traveling, work, school. I was a little surprised when I started comparing this to some other bags and lugs line, how small it actually looks and feels. Quick tour. So you've got your side cargo pockets. These do have that hidden magnetic closure. So you're not gonna see that magnet, but when you're not using the pockets, it helps keep the pocket flush against the bag. These are not going to be the biggest side cargo pockets that you've ever seen in your life from Lug. No, they are not. But they will hold your average size water bottle or average size coffee tumbler. This bag did remind me of the Promenade for this exact reason. The Promenade and the Jumper are both going to have a shorter shoulder drop than most of Lug's bags. They're shallow enough, however, where you could use this on the crook of your arm. And then of course, you can attach your crossbody strap if you want to wear the bag as a crossbody. I'm five foot three, and this definitely works well for me as a shoulder bag. If it was winter time and I had a puffy coat, that might be a different story. So let's take a quick tour of the bag. So it's still gonna give you that nice structure. On the back, there is a nice long pocket. This pocket is going to go up here as well, which means you're gonna get extra cargo space. You're not just getting the space beneath the zipper, you're also getting the space above the zipper as well. I did try to fit my 9.7 inch iPad back here in this pocket. It does have a keyboard case attached. It did not fit well, but that iPad fits really well in the main interior. And then you've got your dedicated cell phone pocket. So I've been observing people's reactions to this bag since it was launched a couple of weeks ago. Anytime Lug releases a new bag, there's usually a mix of people who absolutely love it. It works really well for them. And then you've got other people who say it's not for them, didn't work for them. The jumper though seems to have the overwhelming majority of people absolutely loving it. And I can see why. In the jumper, you're going to get a generous amount of main interior space. That's gonna be great for the overpackers. For a person who wants a smaller size tote. They don't want to feel like they're carrying around something huge, but they tend to overpack their bags or end up putting a lot inside of their bags throughout the day. So because this does have good depth for this size bag, you're going to be able to fit just a little bit more inside. Here it is next to the mini Puddle Jumper 3. 
real quick. So it's another puddle jumper style. They're going to have similar capacity. You might be able to fit just a little more in this guy. And if you're looking for a bag that converts to a backpack, you're only going to get that of these two in the mini puddle jumper. Let's go ahead and pack this bag up and see what fits. So instead of using a phone here, I've got a Kindle paper wipe and I'm able to fit it in that cell phone pocket. Those front puddle jumper pockets are going to be great for your mini handsprings and your minuets. In the back pocket, I've got a notebook and as you're able to see, I can turn it so that it's standing up. You do get more capacity above that zipper line. One thing I did notice with the jumper, normally with a lot of Lugs handbags, there will be an exterior front pocket, which works really well for a wallet. Now, unless you're going to use your mini handspring or your minuet, you don't really have that option with this bag because there's no extra front compartment. For me, this is going to be mostly a main interior wallet bag. Did I say that right? We've got a good size clear view pocket in the main interior. This stretchy cargo pocket is soft lined. Two pen slots. And next to that, you've got your stretchy key bungee. I love any bag that I can carry around a large hardcover book in. If you're thinking about getting this as a diaper bag, I think that might actually work really well. So if you end up needing to bring a little bit more for your kids that day, or you wanted to dedicate the whole inside to your kids and use the exterior pockets for yourself, you've got lots of options and organization in which to do that. And it'll definitely fit clothes, diapers, and wipes. This is that 9.7 inch iPad I was telling you about. This is the kick flip. Next to the wall, I've also got an eco shopper. Go ahead and zip that up. And then the side cargo pockets are going to be great for carrying around a bottle of water or even an umbrella. I really think this bag was a huge win. I've been in this bag since I received it a week ago and I haven't moved out of it yet. Now I like wearing this as a shoulder bag. If I could detach the shoulder straps, I would use it more as a crossbody. Everybody has different tastes. I like to only have one strap going on at a time. But one thing I will say is I like that these don't touch beneath the bag. So if I put this down, those handles are not gonna touch the surface. So it's not the end of the world for me to wear this as a crossbody and have these also existing. So the jumper is basically like, I wish my duffel could be a handbag. Wow. So yeah, if you ever wanted your duffel bag to be a handbag, pretty sure Lug just did that. That's going to wrap up the video on the jumper. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this bag down in the comments, whether or not you picked one up or if you were on the fence about it, whether you're still up on that fence now after watching this video. Consider hitting that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Thanks so much for watching everybody and like always, I'll see you guys next time. In between handles and shoulder straps, they could be used as shoulder straps. They are shoulder straps. Yeah, because this is a shoulder. Make sure you subscribe to learn more about shoulders.